Welcome investors to Joe's Investment Express. Well, as you know, the market is a total train wreck right now. And one of the best th things to do at a time like this is not to be trading stocks like a madman or mad woman, but rather to be studying and honing our craft. And I'm going to wrap up my three part series on what I consider the very best investment books that I've read. I'm going to wrap that up today with Thomas Bolkowski's Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns. So the first book was um, by who I think is the Mark Minervini, the GOAT, the greatest of all time in terms of momentum slash growth trading uh, time spans of probably less than a year with his book Trade Like a Stock Market Wizard, which is kind of... Uh, I don't know, kind of a corny title, but man, it's an amazing, amazing book. I'll put a link to the, um, I'll put a link to the video and to the Amazon in my description. The second book is William O'Neill's uh, foundational work, how to make how to make money in stocks, and that title I suppose suffers a little bit from uh, banality. But it really is in terms of the can slim system, figuring out the fundamentals of stocks that are going to do well and identifying entry points and exit points and fundamental chart patterns. It's, it's uh, the best that I've read. So here's the third one, Thomas Bukowski's Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns. And this, as the name suggests, is an encyclopedia. And what I did with this book is I just read it on one little section at a time. It's a, it weighs about 10 pounds. It'd make a good boat, boat anchor if nothing else. Uh, I just read it, you know, three or four or five pages at a time, let it soak in, and now I use it as a reference book. So what he did was he studied 1,400 stocks for 30 years, and he identified... Uh, chart patterns that kept coming up over and over again and then he did analytics on them. He figured out um, the average amount that they went up, what happened after they broke down, how many times, how often the breakouts failed and so forth. And this book goes so far beyond, you know, we all know about the cup with handle and the double bottom, but few of us the head and shoulders top, but few of us know more than maybe five patterns. And he identifies 75 chart patterns in here and tells us um, statistically what um, we can expect them to do. Now keep in mind, so much of it also depends on the general market. If the general market is trending up, then patterns are much more likely to be successful. If the general market is falling down, then breakouts are often going to fail. But in general, in a neutral or bullish market, in the absence of major news at a micro level, at the stock's level, these chart patterns are very reliable. And I look at fundamentals and technicals, but if I could only choose one, I would always go with um, basing my decisions on the technical chart patterns. So let's jump into this book and let me just show you the contents in a couple of sample pages. And I guess let me backtrack. So now that I've read the book in its entirety, um, what I do, I use it for two, two things. One is sometimes when I'll see a pattern developing, then I, I will look in his um, database, his encyclopedia here, and look at, the, look at the statistics of how well they perform and that kind of thing. And, and then the other... Um, thing that I use it for is sometimes I'll see a pattern developing and I can't really, I know I've seen it before, but I don't know what it's called and I don't know how that pr particular pattern works. And then I'll skim through the old encyclopedia and generally you'll find it. I'll find it and I can read up on what to expect. Then I guess one other thing, and then I promise I'll get to the contents, is some of the least familiar patterns um, work the best. When there's too many eyeballs on a particular pattern, if everyone sees this slow ponderous 
cup with handle developing, and then it breaks out. Oftentimes in a weaker market, all of the retail buyers will say, hey, that's a cup with handle, and jump in, and then the institutions will use that as a time to sell. So in a neutral and particularly in a bearish market, the least familiar patterns are gonna work a lot better. Now in a raging bull market, yeah, those cup and handles are gonna work like a dream. Let's look at the contents. So he's got a fairly lengthy uh, section on how to trade chart patterns. And then he just has, um, gosh, I don't know, five to seven pages on each pattern. Um, a, B equals C, D, the bat, the big M, broadening bottoms, broadening tops, broadening wedges, bump and runs. I'm not going to read all these, but I, I think you're probably hearing some names of patterns you've never heard of before, right? The butterfly, the crab. Oh, there's the cup with handle, finally. Double bottoms. There's actually a lot to double bottoms. You have the Adam and Adam, the Adam and Eve, the even Adam, the even Eve. And some of them are more successful than others. Flags, the high tight flag, uh, the Gartley Island reversals, scallops, which is one I had never heard of and which I use trade off of extensively these days. Three rising valleys, um, wedges. I could go on, but you get the idea, right? It's really a spectacular treasure tro treasure trove of new patterns. To discover and fundamentally patterns are just um, human psychology in action greed and fear and these patterns people have not changed for 10,000 years and they haven't changed since they started trading stocks so these patterns of buying and selling keep repeating over and over again and that's why uh, these patterns are there and that's why you can trade off of them. It's not just magical hocus pocus. And it's not just um, drawing a bunch of squiggly lines and interpreting things that aren't there. So here's a little snippet of chapter one, how to trade chart patterns. This will be really helpful for the beginner to intermediate um, technical trader. And his book, gosh, there are hundreds and hundreds of um, charts illustrating the concepts that he's talking about. And didn't I say there's like 1,200 pages in this thing? It is huge. Like, for example, here's the pothole, which I had never heard of. And he talks about the setup, and he shows entry and exit points. Now, let me show you uh, one example pattern um, section that he goes through. And I'm going to roll through this really fast, but of course, you can always pause the video and uh, read it. Or, you know, you could screenshot it. So here's the bat, the bullish bat. And over the 30 years of stock analysis, this had the best performance out of five. Huh, I'm not sure why that number is. You know, I'd have to go back and study this. I'm not sure what this one out of five means. But um, its average rise is 43% break even failure rate over the last 30 years was only 10%. That's a really good failure rate. Although keep in mind, it really depends on the general market. Right now, the failure rate is probably going to be 50 or 60%. And so he does a little tour of the pattern. Here it is. And he shows you how to identify it. And he talks about the appearance and he talks about the volume and he talks about how long the pattern usually lasts. And he not only does he show a, an example of one that worked well, but he shows um, one that failed and talks about how you identify that the pattern is failing. And then he gives you trading track tactics. So you've identified one of these patterns, then how? what are your tactics? What's your strategy? How do you, how do, you do it? And then this is probably the most interesting part. He goes through a sample trade uh, where he talks about exactly where he bought and sold and walks you through uh, the trade, which is really helpful. And that's the end of the, that's the end of that little walkthrough. And he does that with each and every pattern. Here's another one for the big M. M. And I'm just scrolling through this on Amazon. If you if you click on the link that I provide in the bottom of this description you can uh, go to this to Amazon and 
there are about, gosh, 50 pages or something of this book um, for free that you can walk through and really read it and study it and decide if it's something you want to uh, buy. So this is absolutely not for the casual investor, not even for the casual technical investor. This is for um, people who want to be experts at technical analysis, who love uh, looking at charts and identifying patterns, which I really do, and becoming, you know, becoming an expert. This is your encyclopedia. This is your reference man manual. This thing's expensive. Think it's like $75 on Amazon right now. I surfed around on eBay. It's really not any cheaper over there on eBay. So yeah, if you if you owned and studied the first two books that I mentioned, which will give you a great grasp of all sorts of strategic concepts, and then if you became an expert on these 75 ch chart patterns, I really think that's all you need to become an expert investor and to do um, be profitable almost every year and on strong years to do really, really well. Well, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you own this book or, you know, anything else you want to say about this book or questions you want to ask about it, I would be uh, glad to communicate with you through the comments. And if you buy either of the first two books, let me know what you think of them so far. They were really life-changing for me, and I hope they will be for you too. Okay, well, uh, good luck out there this week. It could be another volatile week. Take care.